Hello, welcome back. Regal Smith here. And today I'm going to teach you how to make over 20 different DIY gifts using essential oils. Now, these are great gifts around Christmas time, birthdays, Mother's Day, just because, or just for yourself. So I'm going to share with you a few of these ideas, and then I'm going to have them all written up on my blog on Bliss Mama. I'll have it linked below with all the recipes for you to access and more. So first off, probably the easiest DIY gift is a bath salt. So all you need for these are Epsom salts. I like to use about a cup of unscented Epsom salts per bath, and then about six or eight drops of essential oils per bath. You can put it in a mason jar. You could put it in these little Christmas ornaments. That's really cute. And I love how the Epsom salt is already looking like snow. It's just really fun. If you put it in these little ornaments, just put a little dab of glue. So if somebody picks it up, it doesn't get too heavy and pop off. Bath salts are super customizable. I would say lavender and eucalyptus is a really popular combination. You could also do breathe. That's a nice oil that will help open up the airways. Adaptive is delicious. This is a great one if somebody wants to calm down. It smells really pleasant. It's a little bit floral, a little bit citrusy, instantly calming. We have oils in here like wild orange, lavender, copaiba, spearmint, magnolia, rosemary, neroli, sweet gum, and some others. Another really nice one would be Aroma Touch because the Aroma Touch will help to loosen and release tense muscles. So you can have fun and start to experiment with different ones. But bath salts, very easy and inexpensive if you're on a tight budget. Next, you can make bath bombs. This is one that I have on my blog. It's a moisturizing adaptive, so adaptive oil bath bomb. I'll show you what it looks like. These are so pretty. They are made also with a little bit of coconut oil, so they're a little bit more moisturizing. And then I have even some of the little dried lavender you can see. These are really fun to make. My daughter absolutely loves them in her bath and helping me make them. Another craft that would be good for kids is making these little diffuser ornaments. So my daughter, uh, she made these when she, she was six, she just turned seven, but she made these a couple weeks ago. And it's just air dried clay and she cut them out with a cookie cutter. We let them dry. She decorated them with glitter. And then on the back, we didn't do any decorations and that's where we put our oil. So we used a Siberian fur on one and Douglas fur on another. So these are great if you have a, a faux tree and you want it to smell like a real tree, you could add these to garland. We're actually using these ones in particular for name tags on gifts. So we'll put the person to and from on here and it's just a really easy way. I used air dry clay, but I bet if you make salt dough ornaments or the cornstarch ornaments or some type of DIY dough you can find online, I bet it would work too. Just leave the back undecorated and that's where you can put your oil on. Another idea that you can make are, of course, sugar scrubs. These are so easy and so popular. I was at a spa recently and they had a jar of sugar scrub this size for $28. These are so inexpensive to make. You just need whatever regular sugar that you want. And in this size, I use about one cup of sugar and about half a cup of fractionated coconut oil. And then about eight to 12 drops of essential oil. This combo, combo I whipped up right before this video and I am in love. I did half Douglas fir and half grapefruit and it smells citrusy but like you're walking through the forest so the citrus oils will help exfoliate the skin they're also uplifting to the mood and then a little bit of that douglas fir for grounding those tree oils are really grounding and also supportive to the lungs so whatever combo you like i think adaptive would also be good in here serenity would be lovely this is the sleep essential oil blend so the serenity has in here lavender, cedar wood, ho wood, alang alang, marjoram, roman chamomile, vetiver, vanilla, and Hawaiian sandalwood. This one's absolutely delicious. You could do citrus bliss. So that's seven different citrus oils with a little bit of vanilla. You could even do peppermint, like a candy cane sugar scrub. And I have this recipe on my website, on my blog for you, but I didn't have the materials to make it today. But you take white sugar and then a uh, uh, like a skin safe colorant that's red. So you make one batch that's red, one batch that's white, put your peppermint oil in both, and then you layer them, it's so pretty. So you would do red, white, red, white, red, white. And it looks like a hand cane, smells like one, and that's a really fun gift to make. 
Another really easy one are linen sprays. You can call it a linen spray, a room spray, a body spray. It's all the same thing. That's one of the things I love about the essential oils is we can have so many uses for one thing. This is one of my current favorite ones. I'm calling this a linen spray, crisp, crisp and clean linen spray. It has purify, eucalyptus, and lavender. I have this recipe that I'll link, and this is actually from a Mother's Day DIY collection that I did earlier in the year. And so this one will actually have labels for you. So you can just print off the labels. And then what I do, just use a regular piece of printer paper. And then I use just packaging tape to make it waterproof and it looks like a professional label. So that's a really fun idea. You can do that with anything. You can type up whatever you want and then put that label on and it looks fancy or keep it really simple. You can write on your jars with Sharpie. Sometimes I use paint pens. So that'll kind of bring me to my next one that I make. Um, this is, let's see, I wrote paint pen. This says Virgo. These are Zodiac specific blends. So I have recipes where you can make them for Zodiac signs. So this is the Virgo roller blend. You can make them for any of them. This would be really cute. You could pair it with these little Zodiac journals that I have. I made these and put on Amazon for each Zodiac sign. I made them for my daughter who loves rainbows and Zodiacs. So that's a really fun combination that you could make with these Zodiac rollers. If you have a foodie in your life, this is a really inexpensive and easy gift to make. This is a seasoning salt, like a finishing salt. It could be fine or coarse salt. This is coarse salt, so it would need to be ground or fine. And then the recipe I have online for you, I believe I put in here rosemary oil, lemon oil, and black pepper. And it smells so delicious. We sprinkle this on top of roasted veggies after they're done cooking. Sometimes on chicken, it'd be great on pasta, roasted potatoes, and it's a really nice gift for a foodie. Another thing that you could make would be lip balms. My daughter loves making these. I recently taught you how to make these sugar, no wait, what are these? Super mint lip balms. So she likes these tiny little containers, the round ones, because they fit in her cute little purses, but you could make them in the tubes. These make a lot for not a lot of money. So if you're on a tight budget, you could get a whole bunch of these. You could get a bunch of bath salts and make lots and lots of gifts for people. Um, I have super mint in here, which I recommend, but it is not for sale until March. So if you didn't get it in October when it was in the convention tour kits, you could try peppermint oil, you could try spearmint, and that would also be lovely. Mm, this is so silky. You'll like this one. You could also make a classic sugar scrub. I have lots of recipes on my YouTube channel, my blog, my website, all over the place on how to make the sugar scrubs. And I just shared with you, I guess I shared earlier about this one with the grapefruit and Douglas fir. And then finally, my final one I'm gonna share with you. Actually, no, I have a couple more. The next one I'm gonna share with you is the Miracle Salve. I make these every year. This is for tight muscles, muscle tension, skin irritation, even a little bit of throbbing in the temples. It works really well. And every year I make these and put these in my DIY gift bags that I give to my baristas, my neighbors, teachers, whomever I'm gifting to this year. And uh, it's so easy to make and it lasts a long time. This little tin will probably last each person until next time you gift it next year. It has coconut oil, olive oil, beeswax, and then rosemary, lavender, peppermint, and copaiba essential oils, and a little bit of vitamin E. This is also one of the first things we go to when my daughter is has a warm body temp and she crawls into bed with me. I rub it right on her spine. If she's complaining about something not feeling good, we just rub on our miracle salve. And another fun gift, if you are a DIY person and want to make a neck wrap, I have a how-to tutorial on my website about this, a link in the holiday gifts blog. Um, but these are really easy. This is filled with rice. You can sew this. If you're not a sewer, I am not a sewer. I use something called No Sew. It's like a type of fabric glue. This is three years old and it still holds up. So you warm up this neck wrap and then you put it on the back of your neck with an essential oil combo. What I love to use are either the deep blue stick, so the deep blue with copaiba is my new favorite for any type of discomfort, 
or if you don't like the aroma of deep blue because it does have menthol, it works incredible. But if that's not what you're feeling, you can use copaiba and lavender. So 20 drops each copaiba, which doesn't have a very strong smell at all. It's a little bit tree-y, but not, not a strong aroma by any means. So I do about 20 drops of copaiba, 20 drops of lavender, top the rest with fractionated coconut oil, rub that on my neck. It is so relaxing, relieves tension and helps to calm my body and then put the neck wrap on that's been warmed up a little bit in the microwave. And then another fun idea is if you're sending out holiday cards, you can send them if you want. So we'll put a stack in a Ziploc bag, put a few drops of whatever oil you want, like holiday peace, holiday joy, cassia or cinnamon would be lovely, Douglas fir, whatever you're feeling and put a little bit on there and leave it for a day or two and it will help scent the cards really, really nicely. And then keep the cotton ball off the card so it doesn't leave a little oil mark. And then finally, a couple weeks ago, I taught you how to make really easy coconut oil and beeswax candles. That's something I'm gonna make a big batch of this year to gift out. This is in an upcycled jelly jar, but you can get fancy jars if you prefer. I ordered some fancy jars from Amazon and we're gonna have some really nice candles. So I have written up on my blog for you some recipes I didn't even talk about. You'll also learn how to make a five minute lavender soap recipe or a five minute spearmint and rosemary soap recipe. Those are really fun. It's made with a pre-made soap base, so they're easy. You just put it in the molds. You'll also have recipes for some beard oil. We have a candy cane sugar scrub. Those feel nice. It's like a mini version of this, but it's for your lips. Really great for dry lips around this time of year. Also a couple versions of elderberry syrup. So that's kind of a fun thing to gift for the immune system. I have one with cardamom and wild orange or one that's more classic with the cinnamon. Also how to make um, wool dryer balls. That was a big thing about helping to dry your clothes. You can put a little bit of purify oil, lemongrass oil with it and do your dryer balls. We'll also have on there a DIY green tea sugar scrub with rose and sandalwood. That's a really delicious one and a whole bunch of other ones. So over 20 recipes for you. Check them out. If you're making any gifts this year, drop them below. Let me know what you're making. And of course, if you need any doTERRA oils at 25% off retail, you can shop wholesale linked below on my website, listmama.com. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.